Over here, you can see that I got different timelines right here. For example, I got this timeline one right here and I got this timeline two right here and they are made with a certain uh, settings uh, applied to them. If you want to go around and then change around the settings of the timeline after you made it, then all you need to do is right click on the timeline that you want to change the setting for and then you can go to a timeline setting right here just like this. So once you go around over here, you can see that it is using the project settings right here, but you can override this by unchecking this and over here you can go around and select a timeline resolution of your choice. Let's say for example, you want to go around and select out a lower resolution, you can do that uh, very easily and you can select a different aspect ratio as well. So over here you can see that you can set the monitor settings and the output settings over here as well as you can see and press OK and the timeline settings will be updated. So if I were to go around and then double click, now you can see that the timeline settings has been up updated right here and it has been applied over here. You can go around, right click over here to go around and make the changes to the timeline setting once more as many times as you want right here and press OK and you can see that the timeline settings gets applied. And that is how you can go around and change the timeline settings after you have actually go, uh, went around and created out a timeline uh, in the start. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.